having a biological male in the Joker somehow being able to get pregnant via ma magic. Dude, you, dude, you realize the universe this happened in has magicians and old ancient gods and aliens in it? You dumb. F it's called a fantasy. Yeah, there's a million of these little, little weird chud channels where they just show garbage. Yeah, little mini Sargons or whatever. Yeah. Yeah, garbage you know, like in, garbage out. You got the quartering out there. This guy's like the 16th inning or whatever. So here you go. This is DC Comics goes full degenerate by making the Joker pregnant. New low for woke comic book industry. Yeah. Yeah. Just when you think that it can't get any worse in the comic book industry, that it can't go any further, that they can't go any more degenerate than they already have over the last several my years. My God, what have they done? This is my voice. I say everything like this. The DC <laughs> comic industry has gone too woke, TJ. It is degenerate. Oh, man, dude. Put on your big boy voice for this one, didn't you? I love... This is like the Joker, right? Like... He's the Joker, so like, when has the Joker ever not been degenerate? It's supposed to be the Joker, right? <laughs> like, he's a he's a homicidal maniac. I want the clean cut, family friendly Joker, TJ. Why can't we have that Joker? Again? Not only oh, that, but if you're gonna act like this is offensive, then what about the movie Junior from like 25 years ago with Arnold Schwarzenegger? My nipples are sensitive, TJ. Like that movie came out and no one said anything because no one cared. Like people just looked at it and said, that's repulsive. And then went on with their lives. No one made a big deal. Dude, how much do you want to bet that this dude signed up for Hustlers University, bro? You think he's a member hey, of Hustlers he, University? Uh, he's a member. He's taken classes from the 13 year old headmaster. He's, <laughs> he's done it all, bro. I guarantee it. Then DC goes ahead and does something like this. This is an actual panel from a comic book that was released. The Joker. Uh, you know what you can do? There's this crazy thing that you can do. When there's something you don't like or you don't want to read or you don't want to watch, or you don't want to listen to, you just don't do it. So I heard about this comic and you know what? I didn't want to read it. So I didn't buy it and I didn't look up panels of it and I didn't whine on the internet about it. I did all of those things. But Scotty, whining on the internet about it might be monetizable. Oh, you're right. Never mind. Good job. He's just like us watching this guy might be monetizable. Oh, we'll good. see. Pregnant. Oh, and actually, the Joker gives birth in this comic book. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. A drawing. Someone drew something I don't like. No. In a universe where a tiny little wasp woman exists and a giant sentient monkey exists that talks and controls people's mind and calls itself Gorilla Grodd, there's a joker in it now oh no what have they done to my crazy comic book fantasy world <laughs> <laughs> idiots man do you feel that right there it's and look at him. right there look at him sitting in his red bull dungeon sick sucking down g fuel and look obsessively checking his numbers and this guy is living the life bro I thought this had to be fake this had to be somebody else did this it's just a prank it's some stupid thing no this is real and it is disgusting and disturbing, but that's the comic book industry now. Uh, it's whoa, the whoa. Joker. <laughs> oh my God, you bro. Like this is not state. like. You have a couple <sighs> options. You can write your own comic books. You cannot read the current comic books that you don't like. I don't think there's plenty of comics that don't even deal with anything even remotely political. This guy doesn't read comic books. You like this outrage fodder for, him for, for a thing that he doesn't even support with his viewing time or dollar go f yourself kid eat a <laughs> dick man have we here i think you're pregnant i think you're right there is joker a biological male by the way somehow Whoa. that yeah also yeah i guess that's true too oh, have yeah, they, told you have that, they ever canonically shown joker's dick before yeah have you done a cock and ball check to make sure that he's biologically male my friend how do you know that there's tons of different interpretations of the same character over and over again there's tons of different storylines with different characters so it doesn't matter even if it was even if the joker in one version was ow pregnant let's get into this story dc introduced also like 
comic books contain fantastical elements that have no basis in reality all the time so it's like what? <laughs> how much you want to bet that after how much you want to bet that after this dude filmed this he immediately was like turned off his webcam and did a google search chicks with dicks <laughs> i can almost guarantee you bro and had himself a good little fap session all of these dudes that are just obsessed with trans issues and every last one of them is cranking one out to porn constantly to to a letter to a one this is joker's new son with a surprise hero the joker has a brand new son with the surprise dc comics character in a wacky new adventure starring the clown prince of crime and an unlikely hero it said as an unlikely hero the Joker has a brand new son with a DC Comics hero who wants nothing to do with the clown prince of crime in The Joker, The Man Who Stopped Laughing, number four, a spell from Zatanna where she states that no one else will ever be allowed to have his baby leads to the creation of a monster that Joker claims is the magical hero's son too. So Zatanna casts a spell basically saying nobody can ever have your baby. That's what the premise of this is. So instead of it preventing anybody else from basically... <laughs> Yeah, magic exists in the... I don't know. I'm not seeing the offense here. Because, <laughs> like, it's... I don't even think this was intended as, like, a political plot. Maybe it was. I don't know. But uh, this is such a weird thing to get so incensed about. This is the hill I'm going to die on, TJ. I this is the hill. Know. Why is the Joker pregnant? I get why he does it, because... It's, it makes him money. Oh, but it's I really, Netflix, right? I don't get why the people in his audience want this. I don't get why there's people out there that are just like, man, I feel like getting super pissed off about a comic book I'm never going to read. Because his audience is filled with people who are confused by the fact that they get boners looking at and men sometimes and have decided that they're going to, they're going to, they're going to call it a degeneracy in society for somebody to not be the gender that they quote unquote present as or whatever the f it's i tell you what dude it's a sexual hang-up in every last one of them i guarantee it's subconscious buried homosexuality that's exactly what it is doesn't want to admit getting pregnant by the joker he is the one that becomes pregnant with his own child Whoa. oh my <laughs> god have you ever heard of any story that, that it happens like that oh wait the bible yeah, I'm incensed. Mary is pregnant, but didn't have any sex. How did that happen, bro? Get out of here. A joke, but it's not. Here it is from the actual comic right here. What do we have here? Just like we said before, I think you're pregnant. I think you're right. This is after he gets out of bed, after that spell was done on him. And then you even have this scene. Here, here's the next panel. You ready? Ready as I'll ever be, Atomic Skull. It's Dr. Phosphorus. Is this going to hurt, Doc? I so now we're just like, he's just reading the comic to us. Is this just like your way? You have to, you want to just read this comic about this, but you have to pretend to hate it in order to read it. It's so immoral and so degenerate and wrong and disgusting. Oh, but I love it. Dude, yeah, maybe well, Andrew Tate know. should bust in and be like, being pregnant is a sign of weakness, bro. Get out of here. Punch him in the face. Punch the Joker across the room. Where the baby's going to come out from down here. So probably. Let's begin to push. I pushed. Director Bones didn't do anything. And then he throws up mud, and that mud ends up being, it ends up like forming into a child that looks exactly like him. <laughs> almost like, it's almost like you're reading a comic book, bro. It's almost like you're reading a comic book that's filled with monsters and magic and multiverses and aliens and you dumb Oh my God, dude. You act like this is like, the, what was the Joker? Like some kind of role model to you until this happened? Uh, give me a break. I watch Joker. You think, you think you can't get any worse, but they managed to surprise you. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> and then they, yeah. And then they wonder why Demon Slayer by itself outsells the whole American comic industry. Yeah, that's why. Because the Joker got pregnant. Just when I believed I couldn't be shocked anymore. This is absolutely nuts. I'm pretty sure the Marvel multiverse of movies is part of the comic industry too. And I doubt that Demon Slayer outsells that, you idiot. These activists aren't even hiding anymore. We see them in plain sight now. Bob Kane will be flipping in his grave. And see, Edgar. dude, the, the, let me ask chat and you guys, is Demon Slayer an anime? Yes. <laughs> 
Stereotypical, bro. I tell you what, dude. I swear to God, there's a there's an archetype. These dudes are lying, man. They're not multiplying because they can't get laid. Thank goodness. But there's a whole generation of them out there that was, dude. I could have. Of course, he's got anime fans in his audience. It's too much, bro. It's too much. Eventually goes to Zatanna and says, look, Zatanna, this is our son. While Zatanna attempted to ensure the Joker never brought children into the world, saying no one else will ever have his baby instead of just no one, she accidentally made it possible for him to have a child with her as it can. I love how he's, I don't think he's ever going to actually express what his problem with this is. He's just going to continue to just point at it and be like, oh my God. <laughs> degeneracy. Oh God. So degenerate. Oh my God. So terrible. Oh, can you believe they made this? Oh, can you believe this is happening? What is actual argument? What is he he doesn't have one. He's never going to make one. Can only be hers as a result. So Joker ends up getting bizarrely pregnant and delivering birth to a mud monster. Yeah, that anime. Is- That's a good point, too. Anime watchers are watching a video about how a comic book is degenerate because it has a Joker gets pregnant in it. Isn't where anime where shitting dick nip- nipples came from? Isn't like- anime where the most degenerate on the planet gets animated over and over again. Oh, okay, <laughs> my bad. But I guess that's By all form, okay. He takes his son's antenna and all right, I'm hold on. Introduce him as theirs. It's a bizarre scene in a story meant to showcase the sillier side of the villain. This is disgusting. This is legitimately right. disgusting. I saw Jane Theory tweeted out about this too with this part of the panel. The people who are writing comic books right now, they are absolute freaks. They have destroyed the entire comic book industry by consistently pushing, whether it's their social justice, their identity politics, their woke nonsense, or even a creepy ass agenda, just like this with men. What's the agenda? What is the agenda that trans people get impregnated with mud babies that they puke out? out? Yeah, look, we're very concerned about a lot of these guys going out there and getting magical spells cast on them to vomit up mud babies that turn into clones of them. As happens all the time. We're very concerned about this growing epidemic that's sweeping the nation, guys. Dude, what the f***? He's such a weirdo. It's because the problem is that any sort of representation in art or culture or media of anything that's not, like, basically traditional for these people is just too much. It's like, we've just gone way too far. We've gone way too far, gentlemen. The Joker can't get pregnant with a mud baby. There's a line in the sand. It's been crossed. You've you've heard heard this, by the way, TJ. This is what your, I do. What, this is one of your many spawn right here. I know. Yeah, you know throw- such a sad thing. Another I, aborted TJ clone. My bastard, off, the bastard offspring. I should have. I, I do know. Good, TJ. The Joker had a mud baby in his hand. Uh, yeah, did I do Dude, good? I would I'd love to just sit down and just ask this dude like just questions not even argue with him just ask him questions and have him explain to me like what is what is the problem here why he's so butthurt about it what the offense is that's done you're an sjw now tj you suck yeah this guy is my mud baby (laughs) that's true he is dude yeah he's your turn baby you're not gonna vomit him up you're gonna shit him out yeah it's one little thing. It's just a stupid story. If it was I just guess. this, maybe you could say that. But this has been a pattern for nearly a decade. Yeah, this pattern of the male characters getting pregnant and shitting out mud babies or what's happening? I don't even oh, know. Oh, yeah, dude. I remember oh, yeah. the, yeah, dude. Everybody's trans now. Do You didn't hear, TJ? Every, I mean, you know, like, Batman's the pregnant, Joker's not Superman's even... pregnant. It's not even a trans thing. Like he was magically made pregnant and then vomited the baby out of his mouth. And it was a mud demon that takes his shape. I don't feel like there's even an allegory here. I don't know what the fuck is even going on. Yeah. 2011 TJ would be like, what, what will these SJWs do next? What's next SJWs? Do they realize they're doing the Anita Sarkeesian griff right now? It's just right wing adjacent. Yeah. I don't think they do. That's why I started calling Sargon of Akkad like Anita Sar- Sargonesian. <laughs> this is just that's basically where we're at now. Like where this guy, where the, they're the ones who are perpetually offended by everything done in a piece of art. So it's really come full circle in a lot of ways. Not being offended. Oh God, I'm offended by everything. Yeah, like within just a decade too. It went from these snowflakes are offended by everything to I'm offended by everything. That's because they're they're both they're two sides of the same co- coin. They're two two different sects of Puritan, and these people they never go away, dude. It doesn't matter what guys they come in or what political flag they're flying. There are people out there 
who are just absolutely incensed by free expression of ideas and art, period, no matter what happens, no matter what's said or done. Industry continuing to push for this weird who are they making this for? Who is interested in something like this? You, oh, obviously, yeah, you yeah, yeah. Like the guy who made a video about it, that guy. Yeah, they probably did this to piss people like you off so that you would go out and buy the comic and make a bunch of videos and give them free advertising for it. Oops, it worked. The reality is the freaks that are making this, the woke losers. Got a mud baby in your britches, DJ. Yeah, I guess so. The freaks that are making it's alive. This. What is it? It's an annoying entertainment is commentator. Is he as good as TJ? Eh. As artists and writers, they're making it for themselves. That's the only explanation. They're trying to change all these characters gay. They're trying to change a bunch of them trans. That's what we've seen play out. And I'm now you're out. Though. That's not even. That's Ooh. not even. An instance of the Joker what? being made trans. Someone oh. failed reading comprehension. You just read it yourself. It's not what happened. Having a biological male in the Joker somehow being able to get pregnant. Via ma magic. Dude, you, dude, you realize the universe this happened in has magicians and old ancient gods and aliens in it, you dumb f It's called a fantasy. It's course that's zatanna's child apparently but you would think that when you see something like this no this has to be fake but now if you see something like this you should just assume fake, that it's reality you should assume that the most degenerate possible thing you can imagine from the comic book industry is real because that's awesome. what we're doing the comic industry way cooler than i wish that was actually true i'd probably read comics again in the comments below, smash a like button, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for like notifications. Like my video, subscribe, and of course, share this video with your friends. Let them know how degenerate and woke DC has gone. Till next time, guys. <laughs> the degenerates horrible. over at Nintendo have done it again. Look at Mario here stepping on a giant mushroom. Mushrooms don't <laughs> get that big, bro. This is disgusting. I've never seen a mushroom that big, and clearly, this is part of a big mushroom agenda. You know what I mean?